Hi there. I wanted to show some of the people that claim that uh, nothing will happen when the alignment with the center of the galaxy and the sun and the earth on December 21st, 2012 is not going to have any effect. Well, that's not quite correct. Because there's a black hole at the center of the galaxy, there's an intense gravitational pull around that black hole, which is pretty big in size. It's not so much that it's big in size, is that the galaxy behind it is also very large. In 1906, in order to test the theory of relativity, they took a, a photograph of the total eclipse at the sun, and what they did, what they found when they developed the film, is that there was a sun. Behind the sun, there was a star, and the light waves bent around it, and they could actually see the star. The record, a list of the, uh, there was a um, a star that was behind the sun. The light of that star had bent around the sun, and they could pick it up on Earth. So really, every gravitational uh, body bends light. And like a magnifying glass. And you can see on this thing, this is an illustration of that magnifying effect. Here's the black hole, and you can see the light that passes near the outer circumference of the, what's called the, the barrier which light, once it enters that gravitational pull, it can't come out. But for a very large segment of space around that, it acts like a magnifying glass. So the things that are, uh, you can't even see, the small, black hole that's in the very center. So this is like a huge magnifying glass and you remember when you were a kid you used to take a magnifying glass and you could light a piece of paper on fire because you magnified the thing. So at the same in the same way the uh, the black hole magnifies intensifies the UV, the x-ray all the light from these distant stars over here, okay, that are in the galaxy, all being magnified onto the sun and the earth. And if you look at the secondary photograph over drawing over here, the um, the sun also magnifies some of, some of that light as well. So you have a double magnifying effect. And the um, and even though this all this background radiation is very low, if you multiply it by a, a million times or more, you're going to get have a dramatic effect. If you have too many X-rays and they get through uh, to the Earth, it'll cause genetic damage to plants. They won't sprout, or if they do, they'll be mangled. Secondly. The amount of energy that's striking the sun is many times that of Earth. And the sun is spinning. As it spins, it's going to come into an intense field on this side, so it's going to be affected as well. And it is possible that it'll, it'll make solar flares uh, that won't quit. And when you have solar flares, that knocks out communication satellites. This could go on for months maybe a year, as this energy strikes the sun, causing it to change its pattern and create more flares. In all cases, this can't be positive. I mean, we could see the whole Earth getting zapped. We could see uh, this increase in energy causing uh, more global warming. 
we could have a return of the flood scenario that other cultures talked about. I think we need to take a little closer look at this, folks, and not just be blasé. That's the end of this message. Thank you.